Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I would like to tell you a story about our national hero named Dewi Satika. My name is Clara Elsa Pujiasuti from SMP Strade Yosuda Sotangra. Alright, let me start the story. Dewi Satika was born on December 4, 1884 in Cicalengka in a famous Sundanese family, namely Era Raja Pemas and Era Somanegara. As a child, she always played the role of a teacher when she was with her friends after school. After her father passed away, she has been living with her uncle. She received in a training from her uncle that is appropriate to Sundanese culture. Although, she had previously received a knowledge of Western culture. Dewi Satika, besides having a hobby of playing the role of a teacher, she was also very talented in the world of teaching when she was 10 years old. She was already an expert in reading, writing, and some Dutch words, which can be shown by some of the children from the training assistant. What surprised the citizens of Chichalenka was at that time there were hardly any children among ordinary people who could do these things, especially the fact that, that, that what they were teaching was a 10-year-old girl. Dewi Satika was a teenager and has to return to her mother lab in Bandung area. The major soul that was very developed in her was increasingly encouraging the girls to realize their dream, which was fully supported by her uncle, who has the same desire. Even so, the similarity in a dream between Dewi Sartika and her uncle did not make it easier for both of them because at that time there was a tradition that became a chain of what of feminine ties that made her uncle worried and difficult. Despite all the problem, the spirit that burned in the heart of Dewi Sartika was not so extinguished and in the end, she has succeeded convincing her uncle and getting permission to start an all-girls school. Finally, with this patient with me, I finally managed to convince uncle. And soon, I'm going to start the special school I've been dreaming of. Dewi Satika was very persistent in fighting for the faith and dignity of women. On January 16, 94, she founded the Wife School or School for Women in Bandung. In 1910, the Wife School changed its name to Sakola Kautama and Istri. The Wife School continued to receive positive attention from the community. The students, the number of students increased, even the previously borrowed with Kapitahan Baliburu was no longer enough to accommodate students. To overcome this, the wife school was then moved to a larger place. Over time, six years since its establishment, in 1910, the, the wife school was slightly updated to become Sakola Kautaman Isri. Changes are not only in the name, but the subjects also increase it. Then, in 1913, the Kautama and Wife organization was also established in Tasikmalaya. This organization houses the schools founded by Dewi Satika. In 1929, the Sakola Kautama and Wife changed its name to Sakola Radin Dewi. 
and the Dutch East Indies government built a new large and complete building. She tried hard to educate the girls so that one day they could become good housewives, able to stand alone, flexible, and talented. So for that, many lessons related to household development were given. In order to cover the operational school's cost, she worked hard to find funds. She did not feel all his hard work as a burden, but turned it into inner satisfaction because she had succeeded in educating her people. One of the things that was added to her enthusiasm was the encouragement from various parties, especially from Radik Kanduruan Angga Surya Winata, her husband, who helped her a lot in realizing her struggle, both energy and thought. In 1947, due to the Dutch military aggression, Dewi Satika took a refuge along with the fighters who fight against the Dutch maintain to independence. It was on the evacuation on September 11, 1947, that the elderly Dewi Satika died in Sinan, West Japan. After the situation was safe, her grave was moved to Bandung. Alright, that's all the story about Dewi Satika. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.